हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम मोहम्मद कामरान हलील फ्रॉम यूट्यूब चैनल द फिजिक्स गुरुज सो वो विल कंटिन्यू आवर यूनिट नंबर वन फिजिकल क्वांटिटीज एंड यूनिट्स सो लास्ट टाइम इन द प्रीवियस टॉपिक वी हैव अ डिस्कशन दैट हाउ कैन वी कन्वर्ट एस ए यूनिट इन टू दर प्राइव यूनिट नाउ द नेक्स्ट लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इज होमोजीनियस इक्वेजन सो वट इज अ होमोजीनियस इक्वेजन This is a equation in which the unit on the right hand side is equal to the unit on the left hand side. If I will write down an equation and after driving its drive units I will get the same unit on the right side and same unit on the left side then this equation is called a homogeneous equation. One thing which you have to remember homogeneous equation is an equation having the same units let we solve two examples h is equal to ut plus half gt square where s is the distance u is the speed t is the time g is the gravitational acceleration and t is time again the unit of distance is meter the unit of speed is meter per second and the time is seconds we will ignore the values of the constant because we are only concerned with the units so the value of the g or the acceleration is ms minus 2 and s square now this s square will cut down by this one this s will cut down by this one and we will get m equal to m plus m and m that is equal to 2m ignore the constant now you will observe that this unit and this unit is same left hand and right hand side have the same drive unit so it is a homogeneous equation second example p that is equal to rho g h square p is the pressure pressure equal to force over area density is the mass per unit volume g acceleration h is height so for force we will write down that newton over meter square and then the density is kilogram over meter cube then the value of g is ms minus 2 and meter square so the newton that is equal to m into a it is kg ms minus 2 and m minus 2 and then kg s minus 2 what is the reason the reason is this because m minus 3 and m minus m plus 3 plus 1 and plus 2 gives you plus 3 and m minus 3 and m plus 3 they will cancel out with each other so then we will get kg s minus 2 and on the left hand side we are having kg m minus 1 s minus 2 now you can observe very clearly that these units are not the same one this is a question which you are required to solve t is equal to 2 pi under root i over m g h you are required to find the unit of i solve that and write down that unit in the comments i is a variable for which the unit is required m is the mass g is acceleration due to gravity h is height now the next one h is equal to ut plus at square if you will solve that equation you will get that it is a homogeneous equation the left hand side unit is equal to the right hand side unit do it please but this is not a correct equation so it means that this equation is homogeneous but it is not correct so this question has been asked in the paper write down a equation which is homogeneous but that is not the correct so a correct equation is homogeneous but a homogeneous equation cannot be correct so this thing should be in your mind similarly f is equal to ma this is correct equation and if you will solve that you will get the homogeneous units on the left hand side and on the right hand side as well this is a uh, question number 11 from now it's your term from the book mike trindle and chris me second edition page number 5 he is saying that p pressure plus half rho into speed square equal to constant 
what is the unit of this constant let me solve that pressure equal to force over area plus just ignore this 1 by 2 is the constant then density equal to mass per unit volume and speed v square that is equal to constant now force is equal to ma over a plus mass over volume into v square where v is the speed so now we will write down the unit kg ms minus 2 into m minus 2 the mass kg volume m minus 3 because volume is in the meter cube and velocity squared ms minus 1 whole squared at this point the students make normally a mistake they don't take the whole square for the unit so now i will solve that kg m minus 1 s minus 2 plus kg m minus 3 m square s minus 2 it is equal to constant it is equal to constant so further solving it kg m minus 1 s minus 2 plus kg now minus 3 and plus 2 gives you minus 1 and s minus 2 equal to constant So it will become two kg m minus one s minus two equal to constant. So just ignore the value of that constant, and then we will get kg m minus one s minus two. So this is the value of the constant. Now question number seven. Exam from the exam question from the exercise question number seven. It's part B. He is saying that find the unit of C. V is the volume. T is the time. P is the pressure. R is the radius. L is the length. So what we will do? Volume m minus three. Time in seconds. Volume is sorry m three over s. Equal to just ignore the values of the constant pressure. Already we have calculated the, the value of the pressure in the previous part. Kg m minus one s minus two. Kg m minus one s minus two. And then it is m four divided by c into m. Now make C subject, so it will become kg m cube because four minus one gives you three. Then s minus two, this m will will shift in upward direction m minus one. Now this m cube will move in this direction and this s will move in upward direction. This is a just simple mathematics. Make C subject, and now we will solve that. Kg m cube into m minus cube. So s minus two plus one into m minus one. So it will become kg. It will cancel out with each other. M minus one and s. Minus one, so this is the value of this variable, which they have represented by C. So do a lot of practice related with these questions, and then you will get good grip. Now we will continue to the next topic: vectors and scalars. Take care.